Hi Scorpio, it's L here to do a love short for you this week in August. Um, so this is going to be a short reading about love. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Um, let's get into it, Scorpio. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what the love short has to say for you this week. Three of Cups. All right, so party, celebration, social activity, communicating your feelings, your thoughts, and your emotions freely, maybe with siblings, those you love, or friends, or in social groups. You could also be reconciling. You could feel like the one got away. Um, you felt like maybe, yeah, somebody could feel like you were the one that got away or you feel like someone else is the one that got away. Um, right person, wrong time type of energy. You could want to do something big, major with your person here. Um, move in together. Buy a house, buy a dog. Um, take things to the next level in a relationship, says the Three of Cups. The Emperor, ooh, there's you. Scorpio man uh, this is Tori Taurus Scorpio Aries also it says that um you have built a, a firm empire dynasty is what I heard wow and uh, maybe you want to take things up you want to take it to the next level here um you want to celebrate all that you have acquired if you have a feminine energy around you you want to show her how she is uh, much appreciated and celebrated here. Wow, the Nine of Pentacles, you feel like this person is perfect for you. They check every single box for you. Um, it just works. This is a, a dynamic person, a dynamic woman. If This is love, so I, I don't wanna relate it to business, but so this is a love reading. Um, you feel like this person does kinda keep you outside of their heart space though. Um, what lacks in the connection is intimacy, vulnerability, closeness. It's a lot of doing, a lot of activity, um, a lot of spending time. But at times you feel like this person, you don't know them intimately. Okay. The tower. Here's you, Scorpio, tearing something down, maybe dealing with something. This has always been a foundational issue or a foundational problem here, Scorpio. Um, all of a sudden there is upheaval, maybe even of emotions, a sudden event, something comes in and it shifts the energy. It allows you to get to the root cause. Okay. The devil. Ooh. Um, some unforeseen, unexpected event feelings put you in the energy of desire, passion, and choices you have a choice to make make sure that whatever you're doing is not going to lead you to a road of entrapment or feeling stuck tied or bound make sure you're not too extravagant in your choice also the chariot card i don't know if it's once again moving in or moving or making some big move here make sure all ducks are in a row you thought this over you've gone over it it makes sense for you and other people involved if you want to move a connection a relationship a marriage a partnership a business whatever it may be in a new positive direction it says that you will have victory over any obstacle here if you move in a new positive direction but also cross your t's and dot your i's the will of fortune there will be some significant change because you feel like something's destined or someone is destined. You can deal with a Piscean, a Sagittarius. You feel like this person is destined or your destiny or is a soulmate. You feel like this is the perfect time to do something, Scorpio, the Hierophant, maybe to solidify a relationship. Again, take it to the next level. Have some traditionalism in your connection here. Get a ring elope have more of a routine some regimen about your connection 
maybe it's very whimsical. You see each other here, there, on the weekend, out, I don't know. Maybe you want more routine, you want more structure. The Knight of Wands, yeah. It seems as if you want more structure here because something is kind of chaotic or you're going to take some really creative opportunity to act on something really quickly, to do something, to sweep someone off their feet. Make sure that your emotions and your actions, they all line up and they're all solid. Make sure that this is just not the way you're feeling right now about this particular person, place or thing. Make sure that it is concrete. Make sure that your mind isn't going to change within the next week or so. Ace of Swords. Make sure that this, you're thinking soberly and clearly. It seems as if there's an energy of here where somebody wants to make some big grand gestures, some move. And they're moved by way of their passions, their desire, and their emotions. But does it make sense in terms of the tangible, in terms of the pentacle, in terms of, um, is it realistic, realization? What I'm not seeing in this pile really is, um, I see the nine of pentacles, but this is someone being self-reliant, acting on self or acting for self. You might be acting on impulse right now, Scorpio. This is you or someone else. Let me give the advice for you, Scorpio. The King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Look at the bigger picture, the larger scope of things. This is a king who acts on his desires, goes after what he or she wants. The affirmation of the King of Wands is I desire or I want. Make sure that this is not a burning desire because if it's a burning desire, that means that it will fizzle out, it will phase out. Make sure that this is rooted and grounded in, in, you know, in it being definite, in it being defined, in it being um, real. The advice of the King of Wands is to, I'm sorry, I got this fan on. I know it's loud, but it's hot. Um... The advice of the King of Wands is you're going to have some unexpected luck here and you're very fired up, but make sure that this is concrete and look at the bigger picture here. Does this work for you in the long term, in the, the grand scheme of things? All right, so that's your reading, Scorpio. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by buying me a coffee or you can buy me a glass of wine, whichever comes first. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. Take care.